Hey guys, it's Rodimus Primal. I'm back with another video, and today I am talking about Saban's Power Rangers. Now, as I usually do, I'm not going to talk spoilers at first. Eventually, I will uh, get to the spoiler section, and I'll let you know when you can skip ahead. Um, but for right now, uh, I'm going to give you guys what I think. Now, the movie itself is a very um, decent uh, origin story to the original Mighty Morphin Power Rangers in a movie version. Um, it brings together um, a, a new cast, uh, but with the original names and everything else like that, uh, to the original Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. Um, now, as a side note, uh, as far as my past with Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, um, now I was at a time uh, when, when the original show came out that I was just old enough to, to watch it and enjoy it. Um, whereas like other kids my age were kind of going, oh, you still kind of watch that stuff. Yeah, I'm obviously a big nerd. I'm going to be watching this stuff and, you know, until I'm 65 and at 65 I'll be sitting there saying, please bring me more. Um, so <clears throat> I was enjoying it back then, um, but it was at that kind of age where like, you know, other kids are making fun of you when you're watching it. Um, but this movie actually kind of caters to those um, kids who were that age uh, when the movie came out. And I like the way that they actually... Um, bring the kids together because when you really think about it the original Power Rangers team um, they just kind of like just knew each other and they were just automatically friends like from episode one but back in you know when you actually think about it now you're like how in the world is a cheerleader uh, friends with the nerd I mean it really didn't happen um, you know that way and, and so when you actually think about it the way that they bring these kids together it actually does work um, now the villain of course is, is Rita Repulsa, Zordon's in it, Alpha's in it. You can, um, and I really did like how they did everything uh, all overall. There are a lot of cheesy moments. Uh, there's a lot of action. There's a lot of explosions. Um, but it kind of comes towards the end. So you're really kind of given uh, um, an introduction to who the characters are, why they're doing what they're doing, uh, literally until the end of the movie. Um, and then when the end of the movie finally does, uh, the big climax does happen, it is an enjoyable uh, experience to actually watch. Um, I will say, uh, without spoiling it, um, that there is somewhat an end credit scene. Actually, it doesn't happen at the tail end of the, at the uh, credits, but it actually happens kind of like one of those mid credit scenes where where they kind of give you, um, you know, a little bit of credits here and there, and then all of a sudden, next thing you know, there's a scene um, right there in the middle. That's what they actually do in this movie, instead of having to wait all the way to the end of the credits. I mean, Marvel, they make you wait like 15 minutes. You're sitting there in the uh, in the theater, and you're like, I gotta use the bathroom, and you can't, because you gotta wait for the, the scene at the end. Um, so this time, they actually did something a little bit different, and I actually liked the way that they did that. Now, at this time, I'm actually going to uh, give you, um, you know, spoilers. So if you don't want to be spoiled, uh, you can actually switch to this section this section of the video right here where I'll wrap everything up. And the first thing I want to talk about um, is uh, Zordon himself. And Zordon is actually the original Red Ranger, uh, which was actually different um, from the way that they actually did it in the original series. To actually have him as the Red Ranger, I think that was uh, a really good idea um, in that he actually gets the coins away from Rita and Rita herself actually is the original Green Ranger, uh, which I thought was actually an interesting um, way of actually bringing, um, you know, everything together. I, I like that. And, uh, you know, having this new team take over so that they can stop Rita was a really good idea. Now, Rita herself, she's scary. And, and when the movie takes itself seriously and it does have cheesy moments, Rita herself is full-blown corny and I love it I love every single second of her on screen I didn't think that I would because when you actually watch the because you know, when you got that first picture of Rita everyone was flipping out everyone was like oh why is she in green and why is she in this and I'm like she's probably the Green Ranger um, and that's actually what they did is they they made her that she had um, the Green Ranger coin so to speak and that's where she gets her powers from um, and that she actually wanted to bring a giant monster and you know do the whole um you know zeo saga which is actually something else that's really interesting is that they want to do the whole zeo crystal so it looks like they want to actually make the power rangers eventually go to zeo ranger powers if you were a follower of the original tv show you'll get exactly what um you know you'd expect out of this the effect on zordon was really cool though they actually made him like one of those uh things that you would put on your face or in your hand 
and it would actually have like all the pins that came out. Um, I know everyone's pretty much commented and said that that's what Zordon looks like. Uh, instead of being this like blurry face that looks kind of like me without glasses and just going all shaking my head around. Um, and uh, instead of having that, you actually have uh, him is on screen and he can actually move around. And the way that they actually do it, um, I think the entire effect is just, it, it actually looks really, really well done. Um, I know when I first saw what Alpha 5 looked like, I had to take a step back. I was like, I don't like the way that that looks. Uh, but actually seeing him on screen, he works. He works perfectly. Um, and he can actually kick a lot of tail. Um, you know, you he can actually take the Rangers uh, without powers uh, quite easily. Um, so if anyone actually wants to say like, oh, like Alpha 5 is, is worthless. No, he's he's actually kind of kick ass. He has all these these tendrils. He can... He can uh, grab you and he can flip you and throw you and he does have the old the old catchphrases he does say i i i um but he doesn't do it in such a corny way that like is so annoying that you, that you literally want to throw a rock at the tv my biggest issue you know my biggest issue that i had was that they weren't power rangers at you know until the tail end of the movie they weren't in costume they weren't in uh fighting monsters until like the literally the the climax of the movie um and so in the middle of the movie we kind of get this whole like you know, they have to overcome who they are and then get to them being Power Rangers. And I didn't really like that. I was like, well, they, they need to be actually be the Power Rangers, fight a monster, and then they have to fight something else at the end. But the movie didn't actually do that. Instead, they decided to, um, they had to overcome their differences and actually come together, which I guess works for the narrative. But when you're actually trying to, to bring Power Rangers to the table, you need that cheesy action. You need that um, almost throughout the whole thing. I'm probably going to want to bet that when they actually do a sequel, because you know this movie is going to make enough money to make a sequel, they will have uh, probably more monsters, and you know, uh, like the pumpkin head monster, or the eye guy monster, or, or or maybe the pig roast monster, or something like that. Now there is a nice little spoiler at the end that I really wanted to tell you guys about that Jason David Frank and Amy Jo Johnson do appear in a scene at the end, um, right when the Megazord is done destroying uh, Goldar, um, and everyone's in the crowd is like all happy to see him. Uh, there you see in the crowd is Amy Jo Johnson and uh, Jason David Frank, and I thought that was a you know a nice nod because the two of them have been very vocal about the Power Rangers fan base and actually being there for uh, Power Rangers fans. So this was a nice way of actually. Uh, inserting them in the movie. Uh, I would have liked the rest of the cast to actually be there, maybe be one of the Power Rangers dad, make the original guy, the guy who played the original Zack, Walter Jones, make him be Billy's original dad before he died. So that would actually be a really cool way of doing things. The Megazord himself, I didn't like the way he looked. The, both the Megazord and Goldar, I, I really felt that they... They kind of ruined it, in my opinion. They, 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 they it just didn't look right. Like, it, it, it I, I like, you know, I'm obviously, obviously, I'm a Transformers fan, you know, and so I don't mind like a lot of like things shifting and changing. But Goldar is supposed to look, you know, like a Griffin. I mean, his, his original name was supposed to be Griffizor, so that's what he's supposed to look like. Instead, he looks like this big giant blob monster of gold. Um, I guess it works. But it just doesn't look right. And the gold, for whatever reason, revives Rita. It's the weirdest thing. Weirdest thing. But the Megazord itself, um, I mean, it does look cool like, like that each of them have a space on um, the Megazord itself. And Billy actually coins the name Megazord. And I thought it was kind of neat. Um, there is a scene where the Megazord kicks a, a Camaro. And again, I'm a Transformers fan, so I'm gonna be the first one to be sitting there going, oh, they're nice, nice little jab here. Is that it actually kicks a Camaro and it explodes. And Jason is like, oh, sorry, Bumblebee. And I'm like, oh, yeah, thanks. So, you know, that was kind of like, I don't know if that was a dig or if that was just kind of like a nod to, uh, to Transformers uh, with the Zords actually coming out. And the other thing that was also really interesting was when the Zords do come out and they're they're running and they're getting ready to chase uh, Goldar into the city, um, they do the Power Rangers theme song. But when they're doing the Power Rangers theme song, the Zords are running and then they do this um, side angle shot 
and the side angle shot actually has the Zords in perfect position like it was when the original 1990s TV show with the Zords running. And I was like, this is exactly it. We're finally getting Power Rangers on the big screen the way Power Rangers should be with CG and technology that they can actually make it look decent enough for today's standards. Now, as far as the suits, um, I did like the way the suits looked as well. Um, I think it was a nice update to the original uh, Zero Ranger costumes and actually making them look uh, more alien uh, and yet still resembling what they originally looked like uh, with Power Rangers. They do have the ability to kind of like Iron Man and kind of slide off so they can see their faces. Um, I guess that's for the actors to um, have whatever reactions that they need. Um, and that does work um, in a lot of good... I think it, looks, it works in a good way because you can see their emotions. And when they are in you know, regular battle fighting the, uh, the putties... Now, speaking of putties, the putties look great. Um, they actually look more like golems instead of, or I would say golem meaning like, like rock monsters, um, instead of looking like guys in spandex with just, you know, slimy looking faces. Uh, this does work in a, a more practical level. Now at this time, I'm going to stop talking spoilers, uh, and I'm going to wrap this up. Um, once again, I did enjoy the movie. I think that it was uh, decent popcorn action. It does dive into PG-13 era, so it does have a little bit of language. If you're kind of intending to bring little kids, you're going to have to tell them, like, don't say that word or don't say that word. It actually does cover it up really well. So if you're, you know, intending for you, you know, to bring your kids, it's okay. I think this movie is geared more towards, like, 10 and 11-year-olds. You know, I think this brings Power Rangers uh, to a more enjoyable level. Uh, and I think it's actually worth going and seeing, uh, especially if you're a fan of the original show um, or if you just kind of like big giant uh, action movies uh, like a lot of kids and a lot of, a lot of adult fans like myself do. You know, but, uh, so overall, I give the movie a 7 out of 10. But what do you think? Did you guys see Power Rangers this weekend or are you planning to go see it? Uh, obviously leave your thoughts in the comment section below uh, and if you like this movie review uh, please thumbs up and subscribe and check out my other videos as well I've got more movie reviews coming I've got video game reviews and I've got more Transformers discussions on the way as well um, and as always guys until next time it's morphin time